In this video, I will share the new idea I have in closing the bow. In my Gen 3 design, I used the bungee cord and J-hooks to pull the top of the kayak together. The idea is similar to those products using plastic buckles. As I pulled onto the strap or bungee cord, I need to have a bow head to fix the shape of the bow. In my Gen 7, I used tongue and groove approach. And it is a very solid design and there's no need for the bow head. The new design for my Gen 9 Plus is even better. I folded the edges of the coral plus to strengthen the edge. I then used scrap PVC pipe to make a few T-shaped brackets. It took me an hour to make the T-brackets and mounted them onto the bow and stern. Compared with Gen 7, I don't need to use any plastic channels, and this reduced the weight by at least a pound. Assembly is also faster, and there's no screws and nuts to rust or to come loose. I can hold the bow together using pins. If I don't want to use the T-bracket, I can cut two slots and then use lashing to hold the top together. Let's take a look at the actual implementation. I used the scrap 3 quarter inches thick PVC pipe. It's about 3.5 inch long. I hit it and press it flat. Please do this in a well ventilated area or wear a respirator. I clamped it. and created the T-bracket. It is not that level, therefore I try to fix it. It looks good. I warm up the surface so I can create a full line. Then I block off an area that I want to apply heat on and you can see when you see the dimples on it that means the part can be fused together. Very often I cannot get it done right the first time. So I reapply heat and, and fix it. And then I test the bonding of the edge. The look of it isn't that great but it really doesn't matter because you're not going to see it. You can use drill or cutter to create a slot, but I find it easier to just use the tip of the soldering iron. Please do this in a well-ventilated place or wear a respirator. Now I do a test and see if the T bracket fits. You can see how I cut open the T-slot from another angle. Again, block out the area that should receive heat. Focus the heat on the cutout piece to a point it almost melt and then direct some heat to the surface that to be bonded. Sometimes the bonding may not be perfect and I have to repair it by redoing just this corner. Sometimes you may have to do minor adjustment to the size of the slot.
Assembly is easy and fast. At first, I thought I need three T brackets. It turned out two would be more than I need. You can insert a layer of rubber gasket in between the top and bottom piece to get better waterproofing. In my next video, I will talk about how I make the V-shaped folds. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.